Good morning YouTube, hello, welcome to my channel. Um, today we are in Talibont on Usk, which is in uh, Wales. And for you guys in the New World, if you're watching this, that's Wales and the United Great Britain Sestrushire, England, Wales. And we're going to do the, um, the Brecon Gap route, but with a bit of a twist. I'm not going to do the full route as I did last time. Got a video up here, up here of me doing it, but uh, I've noticed there's an inscribed stone marking on the map, so I'm going to look at that. When I get to the first gap at the top, instead of going right, I'll shoot left down, find the inscribed stone, pick up the original route again, and then when I get to the main gap between Cribbin and Fanny Big, I'm going to attempt to cycle up Fanny Big to the summit and then take a route back in across down into Penseli, pick up the canal and then back into Taliban. So it's an absolutely stunning day. This is where I am now. There's the, uh, the White Heart Inn at Talibant. There's the old Zanussi milk float, ready to go. I've brought my battery key, so that's a good start. It's going to be a beautiful day, the weather is absolutely stunning. We've got loads of water in the rocky. And uh, here's a bit of the view. How nice is that? Okay, at a bit, beeps. So we're uh, pulling up the tram road now from Taliban. This takes us all the way to the top of the first gap. And it's a really nice run, and at the top, you get a cracking view down of the uh, of the reservoir on Taliban. The weather is stunning. It's going to be very, very hot today. Okay, so we're on the, uh, the tram road all the way to the top. It's been a real nice ride in the shade because of the trees. But from where we go, it's just a long, slow slog. I've been to eco all the way. Bloody hell, it's tough. Because it's really bouncy and rocky. And that makes me even tired, more tired. But yeah, e-bikes are hard work, people. On the final bit in the woods now, then it's out into the open. And the full heat. Boom, baby. Last time I came down here, it was really boggy, mate. Really cold and boggy and windy. But it's all right today, seems to have dried up a bit. That's busting. I tell you, this is where electrical petrol really does shine through. It's such a pleasure being able to ride up a hill. Still hard work, mate, so don't think it's cheating. It just makes it so much more enjoyable. All right, I'll just compose myself. Wow, it's hot. Reet then. Uh, Talibont is down there, just between the valley. We've ridden all the way up along the track there. And now we're here. We're going to carry on round. That's the, uh, the first gap. Because sometimes this is called the Brecon Gap or the Brecon Two, ga two Gaps. Um, and then the other side of that, we're going to shoot left and go and find the, uh, the inscribed stone. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, and now this is the view. There we go, it's looking over to the Black Mountains. I don't know if you can see, you can see Penny Gadavau there, just poking up, who was there last week. Had me photo, did some video in there. That's on YouTube now if you want to go and watch. And there's the Taliban Reservoir. There you go, looking over to the, uh, the Breckens there. In fact, we're in the Breckens, but they're the four main ones just over those. And there's the Brecon Gap. Right then, mate. Let's crack on. Cheating, mate. Cheating, little man. Hey, where are you coming from? Hey. Come here. Come here. Come here. There's a dog. See ya.
paint wheels, brilliant. It's on your doorstep as well, Hereford people, and Lemner people, and Lancashire people who live in Lemner. Oh, this is rutty. I thought we'd uh, take a wrong turn there because we've just come from back there and we come to this here, this old quarry and I'm thinking now there should be a dirt track but I've just checked my memory map on my Android phone and we uh, follow the little track round and then we bear right and it looks like it's a uh, a nice rough trackway similar to, similar to these and then that'll take us down to uh, the inscribed stone if you can see over there in the distance you got Penny Fan on the right, and then you got Corn Dew on the left. Cribbin and Fanny Big are just behind there, just out of the out of shot. Lovely cool breeze. Got a bit of cloud today, so hopefully you'll keep that way because it's this would be a killer up here. So let's crack on. Ho 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 yee! Trying it. Morning. Nice bike. Move along ladies, move along! Morning! I don't want to get wet and muddy. Not on a lovely day like this. Right, inscribed stone. Keep your eye out, people. It's a stone with some inscription. Come on, ladies, move yourself. Right, the uh, the extreme rift crossing kind of threw me a bit because I've just set the map and I've gone past the inscribed stone. It's somewhere just where the uh, where the river, river crossing was, so I'm going to go back and I'm trying going to try and find it because that's why I've come here. So in a bit. Right. So according to the map, the inscribed stone should be here. Now there's that little river crossing which I uh, minced over. There's the E. There's a stone there, bearing no inscription, but my map, my memory map, is saying it's down here a little bit. So I don't know. I was expecting something a bit more prominent. So anyway, let's go explore. Hi, right, according to my memory map app, I should be stood on top of the bloody thing now. I don't know if you can see that. Inscribed stone. I reckon it's that farty little thing over here. If it is, I'm going to be very, very disappointed. Let's go and have a look at it, see if there's any inscription or see if there's any other random stone so I think that's it so if it is that's the size of it that's my foot and there's no inscriptions on that bad boy so I don't know this is uh, this is the only reason I come out here to see the inscribed stone let's have another quick much around see if we can find anything else well that's a bit of a bugger I honestly think that little farty thing is it there. Because I've had a much around I can't find any inscribed stone. But if anybody's watching this and they know where it is, please let me know and send me a picture so next time I can find it. Right, so we're going to crack on now. Just going to go over the rise, follow the track which goes by the wood, drops down, it follows the old little steam railway, and then I'll pick up the gap route again. But there in the distance, you can see uh, Penny Van, Cribbin, uh, sorry, Penny Van and Corn Real nice. And we've got this lovely cloud cover which is keeping the heat down, so. Uh, Mark, you should have come today. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful day. Not too scorched here. Right, let's crack on. Oi, oi, as they say. Right, so we're leaving the site of the inscribed stone now. Really peeved about that. Looking forward to seeing that. I'm not quite, I built a mental image up of something really cool. I reckon some Welsh has nicked it and flogged it on eBay. 
swines. Anyway, we're just going to follow down, then we're going to shoot off. I think it goes a bit off piste, off piste, extreme. Uh, I can hear the train. Woohoo! So here we go. This is us now turning right. Uh, this is supposed to be a bridleway. And then we'll pick up the normal gap route later on. Happy days, boys. Happy bloody days. There is no proper track down here. It's pretty. <laughs> I can see a track in the distance. I'm on the right track showing on the memory maps. So I'm just going to work my way down and pick up the track in the distance. Uh, but I mean, going in the right way, right direction anyway, so let's get bloody tufty grass. Right, mate, I'm riding on tufty grass. It needs a pine in the arse. Oh, there's a bit of a track there, so maybe. There we go, here's something. Oh, we've got a track. Oh, you mind yourself, sheep stuff. So, yeah, oh god. Bloody penny now, son. Right, the truck's just over there, so let's just walk it down. Right, he's going to walk it down this bank now. No hero status here. Because we're not out to break any records or any Strava records or any of that shit. This boggy mat, scratching. Okay. Whoa. Proper mountain biking. <laughs> so we really get over the river, or the stream river. The extreme river crossing! Get up, up. The track's just over there, and then we'll head on over. Let's go. Okay, we successfully managed to traverse the river. Extreme river crossing! It's pretty gnarly, dude. Right, just heading on up now. Deep me gone. Bit off piece, but it's a track on the map apparently. Yeah. So whoop. Tufty grass, bloody hell. What a fucking nightmare. A track. Hazard. Wow. I guess I could have uh, come down there a bit, couldn't I? Never mind. All good fun. Okay, we're heading down to uh, the railway track. I'm sure there's a footpath around here. I can see it over there. How I'm going to get to it, I do not know. So, let's go and have a play around and explore, eh? Oh, here we go, here we go. So if you do this, you come down from there, come straight across the elbow, and you see the little bridge here, and then that'll take you to the track which you need. So, there it is there. Alrighty, let's go. Hello, hey. So it's now right alongside the uh, the reservoir following the road. So this will take me back to the uh, the proper gap route. So let's go. Okay, we've picked up the uh, the normal gap route now at Pont Stick at that place there. So come from down there, and we're just going to head up, head up by the side of the bridge, pick up the uh, forest track, and then then we're back on the gap route. Then, so I'm just taking five, taking a bit of water, let the back breathe. Lovely, lovely so far. Really bloody hot, so. 
There's the rig and all my gear. There's a bridge from a great mate Brendan because he's into his bridges. Somebody has to be. Anyway, I'm going to take on some fluid now, rehydrate and then crack on. If my great mate Brendan ever watches this video and gets this far, I think they've spelt your name wrong mate. Dolly Gear. That should read proper. Proper gear. <laughs> okay, back on track now. Penny van, corn doing the distance. So we just follow this down now for a bit. Ah, oh, lovely cool breeze. Clouds starting to go now, so it's heating up. So uh, let's go. You know, think about stopping for a brew in a minute. Grab some scarf, have a cup of tea. This heat is really draining. So when we get down just around the corner, there's a little station. Can't go to it, but I'll stop somewhere around there and uh, grab a brew. Must be some kind of walking event on. See down there, they've got the tent and the ambulance. So I wonder what that's all about. Probably a good place to stop for a brew, actually. Might see some ladies. That guy is not feeling too clever there. Eh? Medics are turned into him. Okay, so these guys are from the SF experience, the Special Forces experience, and they're running the fan dance. People pay money to do this. So yeah. And they picked a bloody roasting day to do it, so. So yeah, this must this is the checkpoint at Taliban the Taliban side, so I mean Christ, start doing that. It's all of it to raise charity for some uh, special forces guys who got killed in 2013. Rather you than me, mate. <laughs> Alright, we're heading off now, we've had some lunch, a cup of tea, and uh, let's go and pass some sweaty guys. This heat is energy sapping. Just a gentle slog and wipe. Oh crikey, you feel it. When we get to the top, we shoot off left down a little track and then pick up the Roman road up to the gap. Oh, shade. Wow. So tired. This is a lot easier when it's dry. Welsh Assembly needs to sort their road system out. Get some tarmac on these. Oh, tired. How you doing? I'm on the Roman road up to the uh, gap now and it's pretty congested Right in the middle. See you guys. Right to right. Right to left. Right to right. And we're not far from the top of the gap now. And there's the view. Cribbin, Penny Van Corn do. Lovely. 
Right or left? That's it. Not the gap. Dizzy, dizzy, dizzy. Let's have a cup of tea and a bit of water. Right, so we're gonna we're gonna have a crack at Fanny Big. I'm not gonna ride up there, it's too hot. I'm drained. So I'm just gonna push it at the top and then ride back in from there into Penselli. But uh, it'll be a nice push. It's just so hot, it just drains you, and I'm not out to I'm not out to, for any hero status. It'd be just nice to get on the top of Fanny Big. Ooh uh, misses. Ladies. We're pushing up up to Fanny Big now. This will be a good test for the uh, Reichelt Melker wind jammers. It's quite breezy, it's a lovely cool breeze mate. I mean if there was no wind this would have been death by push. So uh, I've almost just but I think we're over halfway now. Just gonna go up there. Uh, so the view from here now. We've come from down the valley, up the Roman road, and then there you've got Cribbin, and then you've got Fanny, uh, Fanny, Penny Fan, and just to the other side you've got Corndu, and then the, the track going down there, that's the uh, descent from the gap, which is there. So, right, let's crack on to the top, nearly there. Hi ho! Nearly there. Lovely, lovely views. <sighs> nearly there. Oh, nearly ish. <laughs> False summit. Lady on the diving board. Lady gonna get me on GoPro. <laughs> and he's a crikey mate. And she's a crikey Sheila mate. Right, let's go. Okay, here's the view. Just come up there. There's Cribbin, Penny Van, Corn Dew. Freckin' over there. There's the uh, diving board. And there's the, are you all from Australia mate? <laughs> Neat way. Jersey, that's that. Oh, Jersey! Oh, right, yeah, abroad. Elsie, <laughs> hey, mate. Hello. He's naughty. <laughs> and uh, then we're going to go over there, follow the ridge round, and then down. Happy days. All right, guys, have a good day. Take it easy. Okay, so uh, we're leaving uh, Sunny Big now. And uh, we're on our way, they were nice people, took me, took some nice photos of me, hopefully they'll come out, took some of them, and they, two from Australia mate, they were naughty. Oh, bollocks. Got an equipment malfunction. Um, the water bottle on the frame has become detached. So, I should have left the, uh, the original design Stop trying to be a smart ass and uh, left it as it was, but no, you learn from your mistakes. So there you go, back to the original design. Bugger! Okay, pedaling uphill now. We've got some fly tipping, somebody's dumped a load of rocks here. Somebody needs to tell the council and get this shit moved. Boink, 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 rocky, rocky, boink. Yeah, that little top section was rough, really rocky. 
Then I'll give your arse a good pounding. Good job I lubed up before I went, but I think it was such a severe pounding, there might be some uh, damage. Okay, it's just the descent now. We'll follow this and then um, we'll pick up a road. And then it's just about half a mile or so into Penticelli and then on the canal and back in. What a great day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bumpy. <laughs> Jinkies. Fucking hell, my eyes were rattling then. Okay, we're headed off towards that wood. And then uh, we'll go the other side, Penselli, and uh, pick up the canal and back into Taliban and have a cup of tea. It's quite scary because you're riding bl on blind ground, you don't know what's coming up. So you've got to be on it all the time. It's I've had a couple of sketchy moments on the top. But anyway, I haven't come up. But by that, it's just bang. Okay. Nettledge. I hate nettles. Got knobby style. Hey up knobby. And put gates. Okay, let's get him over. There's lovely. Come on you sheep of you. Get out of my way. Come by, come by, come by. Go left, go left. Go left, go left. Here Gwen, here Gwen. Go left. Good boy, come by. Lie down. Lie down. Hey, here we go. Right, this is the road into Pence Sally. Cock a doodle, didn't do? And I'm really peed off. Plus, I didn't bring any money because I don't want to another pint or something gay. Oh well. Lorks are lordy, my bottom's on fire. 30 miles an hour, 31, 32, slow down from 33. And here we go. Oh, I got some money. Oakley Dokley, me matey buckos. We're coming off the canal towpath now, I think they're tally bonk. Uh, still got one bar of electrical petrol. That's not bad really, considering uh, I've been quite uh, quite free with the mows because it's so hot. So yeah, all good. Uh, let's just get in. Cool down, have a drink, I'll give the bike a quick squeeze. And then we'll get on, baby. Pizza tonight with my lady friend. Woohoo! <clears throat> oh. Okay, we're back at the car now. Absolutely knackered. Really warm. Bloody good ride though, really good. Definitely do again, but I wouldn't like to do it when it's wet. The rocks are a pain in the ass. Good thing about Taliban, you pay a quid, and you've got the bike wash facilities and brushes, and you've got two toilets, 10 pence to use, and each one's got a shower. And the kit's really nice, so yeah, this is, and parking's free. We just give a donation, so I'll give about a fiver, I think it's about five a change, so all good. Right, I'm going to get my shiz off now, have a drink and give the bike a wash. In a hot bit. Stand by. Oh, look at that.
Say something then. Bye. Bye. To who? You. Oh, no, EMTB, eh? Yeah. Tidy! Tidy mate! <laughs> Bloody Welsh lasses! <laughs> now go! Look you! Go you! How many go you got? Just the one! <laughs> Fuck me. Anyway, let's get packed up and get out of here. Okay, I've left Talibont now. The car park was getting full, there's some event on, so people needed spaces, so I was ready, so I dug it off. Um, what an absolutely brilliant day. The heat was a killer. Uh, the route was really good. I'm really cheesed off that the inscribed stone wasn't there. I'm sure somebody's bloody nicked that. But um, if anybody knows about it and they know where it is, please tell me. Send me a picture of what it looks like. I will be most grateful. Uh, i got some new subscribers and girls are funny. <laughs> You've got a YouTube channel. Oh, what's your name? What's your handle? Fuck. Anyway. Um, so yeah, heading on back now, uh, hope you like the video, like and subscribe, and um, until the next one, in a bit peeps. <laughs>